Okay, so the last chart I want to show you, uh, it's also very useful for comparing multiple objectives in Mode Frontier, is the parallel coordinates chart, which will basically take all of your either inputs or objectives and line them all up and see how uh, all the designs relate different uh, values. So to start, uh, click on parallel coordinates down here in design charts. Uh, again, it'll pop up the same window, letting you pick what you want to represent. And here there's no limit of how many things to compare. Usually uh, I just select all of the objectives, hit OK, and it'll give you this chart. Basically, this will put uh, a scale for each of your objectives, and then each line here represents one experiment, and it will connect basically what values were uh, were output from each objective for every test. And this is really great because it allows you to really see the relationships between different objectives for each test, but also to kind of narrow down the experiments, and it allows you to weigh what things are more important for your when you're trying to analyze your results. So in this case, say I really want the output footprint to be as minimum as possible, I can drag this green arrow down, it will really limit uh, cut down the number of experiments just to what I want. So you see here, if I cut this down, I still get a pretty big range on the core area, but all the floor areas are pretty small. So in this case, say I still want the floor area to be as big as possible, I can drag this up, and you're really now limiting the experiments to just a few. And say here, you know, I want the highest core area, and I pick this design. And if you click on the line, um, it'll show you all the designs that pertain to that. Again, if you select it here, it's selected. So if you go to any of your charts that you've already created, that design is going to be selected. So you can see the results on the bubble chart. You can also see it in your design table. It's going to have a check mark next to it. And it's going to show you all the inputs and all the outputs that it generated. So that's pretty much it for the basics of uh, Mode Frontier.